8 p.m. on CBS 2 HD. Dean Goss is back in for Dan. First, let's check out the forecast. Not a bad day ahead, huh, Mr. G? Man, the sun is really out. 709, it is CBS FM, and I'm Dean Goss, in here for the vacationing Dan Taylor. Well, another celebrity has been arrested. It's not Paris Hilton, not Lindsay Lohan, but uh, you'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and what a mug shot coming up next on CBS FM. 712 at CBS FM. Dean Goss for Dan Taylor. Well, let's see. We got some entertainment news brought to you by Visa Signature. If your card says Visa Signature, you're just a click away from dozens of perks in addition to the points, smiles, and cash back you already earn. Visa Signature now giving away a thousand iTunes songs each. To 100 winners. Nice. Register your card at visasignatureperks.com. All right, I mentioned that a celebrity has been arrested over the weekend, and that celebrity is Cousin Eddie. Randy Quaid arrested for breaking into a home he used to own. What is it? What? I mean, I've owned and sold houses and stuff. You don't break back into your house that you once owned. He was squatting. They were living in it. They found him there. And the mugshot looks like he's been living there for a while. And he looks rather homeless. Cousin Eddie, not looking too good. So there's a new mugshot. Randy Quaid arrested and his wife as well. And sad news again out of Hollywood. This time Malibu, California. Remember Ricky Lake? Her house burned. Here's the interesting thing about it. She was refueling a portable heater inside her home. Who does that? Why would you do that inside the home? It lit the couch on fire. It got out of control. Her Malibu home burns to the ground. Anyway, that's your entertainment news now at 714 from CBS FM. CBS FM. You broke my heart. Well, the question is, will the Beach Boys get back together? They're thinking about it. 50th anniversary coming up, and Brian Wilson would join them. Wouldn't that be cool? Brian Wilson, Mike Love, Al Jardine, one more time going for it. That definitely would be cool. Dean Goss in for Dan Taylor. Closures around the U.N. General Assembly today, so the east side will be gridlocked. Avoid it. Stay away from Tudor City. 720, and you know what that means. Let's do it. It's Dano's Hawaii 5 0 Flyaway Advantage. Welcome, Dano. Welcome, Dano. Welcome, Dano. Go ahead. Book today's time, Dano. Oh, let's do it. We're celebrating the TV series Hawaii 5 0 tonight, 10 o'clock on CBS. And we're doing the CBS Hawaii 5 0 Flyaway right now, giving you a chance to win your own fantastic four day, three night trip for two to Oahu. Listen for the Hawaii 5 0 theme played in its entirety and be caller 50 5 0 at 800-367-1101, and you'll be on your way to Hawaii. When's that going to happen? I'll be happy to tell you. 7 p.m. with Ron Parker. Tonight, 7 o'clock, between 7 and 8, you could win your way to Hawaii and aloha. All right, Mr. G, I've got a question for you, G. Go ahead. <laughs> My son is getting married in two weeks. Right. Our first son. I have to stand up and do the toast. Oh, really? And I have no clue what I'm going to say. Uh-huh. Well, you can say one out of every two marriages don't work out. That would have <laughs> that thing going on. Well, I was thinking maybe you yeah. could help me with your uh, your infinite wisdom or somebody yeah. somebody in our vast audience at yeah. 800-367-1101. Well, it's a helpline you can dial. <laughs> <laughs> I, I may have to do that. No, that, that's a tough one. I mean, you know, yeah, get up is. there and make a toast, you know, like, you know, uh, here's one, right? Do you take this person in sickness or in health? Say health, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that's a vow. <laughs> Richness, how about richer or poorer? Take richer. You take know, just, richer. There you go. <laughs> All right, Sunny Wendy today going to be in the mid to 70s. Uh, clear tonight, 55. It's 7.33 at CBS FM, and I'm Dean Goss. There's a Rolling Stones version of Monopoly in London. Now, while they were going to do Aerosmith, but Steven Tyler's piece kept falling off the board, you know. 7.40 at CBS FM, American band. That is grand funk, of course. I'm Dean Goss, in for Dan Taylor. What a gorgeous morning. Not a cloud in the sky. This I brought the California weather with me. My pleasure to do this for you. <laughs> General Assembly getting together today at the UN, so it's going to be maniacal traffic-wise in the east side. A lot of gridlock around there. And is it me or, or does uh, the president of Iran, who's, who's going to be in town, 
look like Ringo Starr. He does. Every time I see him, it's, you know, it's Ringo Starr. <laughs> I can't hate the guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, my son is getting married in two weeks in Los Angeles. I, I need the perfect toast because I got to stand up and toast uh, the new couple. And I'm kind of, uh, even though I've been on radio for years, I'm, I'm rather nervous about that. So I was looking for the perfect toast. CBS FM, hello? Good morning. You say your son's getting married soon. Yes, in two weeks. I, got, I have the perfect thing to say. Have, have your, your son and his wife get out in the middle of the dance floor. Okay. Have the, have the wife put her hand out. Have your son put his hand on top of hers. And then you announce to the crowd that, son, this is the last time you'll ever have the upper hand. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? I love that. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, Thank Dallas. you. Bye. Do you get married on Seinfeld set? Is that true? Uh, yes. They're getting married at CBS Radford in Los Angeles where they did Seinfeld. Is that right? Yeah. What, are uh, you too cheap to spring for a haul? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too cheap to bring them to the real New York. Man. <laughs> Good morning. It's 7.50. Good morning. Taylor, CBS FM. CBS FM and Dean Goss, 7.56. So you, you, you think uh, <laughs> I have a problem because my son's getting married on the Seinfeld set? I mean, you, you wouldn't be related to him, would you? Mr. G? <laughs> I just thought maybe the cheapness was running in the family. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying.